Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have so many good things to show you today and I feel like Fridays are the day that we can just kind of like chill out and chat more. Can you believe I've been holding back in my other videos? But I was thinking today that I want to do a little bit of not really styling in this video, but I always like even in a haul video, I liked it for it to be more than me just showing you something. I want to show you how to wear it, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty good about that. But anyway, okay. So let's get started. The first thing is I did a big Bloomingdale's haul. Well, it was big for me. It was like a lot of things. It was things that I'd had on my mind. One thing that I had already ordered and never got. So let's start with Bloomingdale's because I ordered some makeup from there. This is a new to me Chanel palette. And that's a lot of people got on me because like those Adidas tennis shoes. Oh, they've been popular for years. Sometimes I'm just a little bit behind the cool kids. And sometimes I'm a little bit behind the makeup. It's just hard keeping up with everything. But, you know, it's okay. This is the Chanel Le Beiges palette and it's the Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette. So this comes in several different shades. It's according to like your skin tone, I guess. So there's a light, a medium, and a dark, and there might be one more than that. The one that I chose is for medium. I just got it yesterday and I used it today. I will say I used both of these little things that it comes with and they are good. It's beautiful and it is what I have on my eyes today. You guys, I was thinking the whole time I put this on, so many of you will love this. For those of you that just want a classy, everyday go-to palette that you can adjust to look darker. I mean, it is just such a good palette. Like this is a perfect travel palette. Now, if you like, I mean, that shimmer is even so good. It's, I can't imagine anyone not liking this palette. I think there was one of the shades that had more of a purpley tone. So I may try one other one because the formula is just beautiful. It's not for someone who likes the big theatrical looks like Urban Decay or MAC or something, you know what I mean? But I don't think there's many people our age that want like a really harsh eye. This is just gorgeous. I mean, it is gorgeous. I was so excited when I was using this because I know so many of you will love this. Another thing that I ended up ordering from Bloomingdale's, I didn't even know this existed and it's probably new, but it is the MAC Studio Fix Pro Set and Blur Weightless Loose Powder. MAC Studio Fix, you know, powder and the foundation and everything else has been around forever, but I don't know if I've ever seen the loose. So I couldn't decide if I needed light or medium, and I'm really glad that I got both. Light is what I used all over, and I'll show you how it opens. It has this little thing. Oh, and it, oh, it does have a puff with it. So on the light one, I took off the whole little covering thing. I actually love the dispenser. The brush gets in there really nice, and then you just knock it off on the lid. This I used all over, and it was pretty light. This may be something good for under the eyes, but don't do it until I try it because it might be too wrinkly. But it's a really brightening, pretty color. Love it. So when I got through with this, I thought, well, let me try the medium because that may be a good, like all over, start your sculpting kind of contour type color. So on this one, that's funny, the puff is sticking to the lid. I was a little bit smarter and I only cut part of the little thing off. But you can still see the color. I was scared because at first I didn't think that they put the light one in there. I thought I was missing the light one and then I found it in the bottom of the box. And when I first looked at that, I thought that's gonna be too dark, but it was perfect. It was perfect. It actually did start my sculpting a little bit, not enough to use on its own, but it's very smoothing. It adds a little bit of coverage. So I'm hopeful, I'm very hopeful. Let me experiment with this some more, but so far, so good. I'm super excited that I tried it and I'll let you guys see. I did use Laura Mercier under my eyes. So these are two keepers and then there was a free gift that you got with Mac and it was this, wow, this is a pretty cool bag. 
just this little black zipper bag. This is the perfect little bag to put your things in and switch from purse to purse. Like this is the bag I like to put my lipstick in, my gloss, my lip liner, a pen, uh, toothpicks, you know, kind of things like that. And then I will just have my card holder and sometimes I'll even put my money in here and then I'll just switch them from purse to purse. So that is a good little bag too. Let's go to a bathing suit top. It's gonna be kind of random. I tell you, I got so inspired last Sunday or Monday maybe. It was after I posted the H&M haul. I spent some time, really I did an H&M haul. I did an anthropology. A lot of places that you guys requested and asked me, did I ever shop Cause? I had never shopped at Cause. So I have a lot of good try on videos coming up. And I really took my time on either Saturday or Sunday and did some shopping. And this is one of the things that I bought. It is a, of course, a pink bikini top, but it is the Becca, which is a really nice bathing suit brand. My friend Susan told me about it a few years ago, and I think it was year before last, I bought several Becca bathing suits. And all in all, they held up the best. They're very, I would say Becca bathing suits are like a pool bathing suit. And the difference is when you live at the beach and you go all the time, you would know what I mean. When you go to the beach, at least when I do, I like to wear like a minimal bathing suit that isn't really hot, that doesn't get a lot of sand in it, that has minimal straps, because when you go to the beach and you get in the salt water and then you're getting sandy, you're getting, getting sandy when you leave, I don't know, it's just not the same as when you are at the pool you're just sitting there and you're not getting sandy and you're not like battling the wind. I don't know, it's just like a more formal look to me to be at the pool. Does that make any sense? If any of you feel that way, let me know. So at the beach, I just don't care as much and I like more of a minimal, like the triangle top, the black bottoms. And when I was little, my grandmother, when we would get off the beach and be going back up to the house, we had an outside like shower, she would strip your butt right down and spray you off. So anyway, my point is when you leave the beach, sometimes you look rough. And when I was like a teenager, I would lay right in the water. I mean, my towel would be soaking wet where the water had come up on me and everything. Good times, good times. So anyway, this is kind of like a pool bathing suit to me. What I loved about it is the horseshoe little thing right there. I thought that was kind of neat. It gives like a little bit of edginess and a little bit of detail. And what I was saying is the Becca bathing suits are very, very nice. Like the quality is good. They don't fade. They don't get like wrinkled up and gnarly looking. They're just really, really nice. So, and you can even see it ties a little bit differently back here, like it loops around that. So it's gonna give you a pretty tie at the back with like the little gold beads. Anyway, so if you're looking for a nice bathing suit, that would be a good one. I also love the Hunza G bathing suits. I will actually link the two I have in my cart at Matches Fashion. And they look expensive, like they're a hundred and something, but it's for the whole bathing suit. And they're one size fits all. My pink one that I wore last year is Hunza G and then I got up the green one. I didn't like that style quite as much. And then my purple one piece, I really liked it too. Okay, and then what is this? Okay, this is another <laughs> bathing suit and this one is called Solid and Striped. And I just thought it was a really cool black bottom. This is what makes it different. See how the side has this like little sheer mesh but yet it's still the kind of bottom that I like. It's the only thing that keeps me from wearing like a one piece. It's not that I don't like one pieces and I think they're really sexy, really pretty, really flattering. I just don't like a lot of fabric at the beach or at the pool. I like it to be minimal. I don't want a bunch of halter stuff around my neck. I don't want a bunch of ruffles on my shoulder, nothing like that. I try to keep it pretty streamlined and that's what this is. So I kind of like those details, you know, wherever I can get them. Okay, now down to the nitty gritty here with the Bloomingdale's. I know this is gonna make your heart skip a beat. These are some pretty shoes. I was thinking yesterday, I need to remember my exact thoughts when I tried them on for the first time. This is for the cute and sexy girl. 
If you are someone that has like that cute vibe, I don't feel like I have a cute vibe. I love that vibe. I would say like Jennifer Aniston has the cute vibe because you don't have to be small. It's just something. This is cute and sexy, but I'm gonna pretend I am and wear these. I love these. I actually ordered these and another pair of the Loeffler Randall shoes during the Saks sale and the weirdest thing happened. I've never had this happen. It was these, those shoes, and I think it might've been another pair of shoes. They never got shipped. And then when I did like the online chat with the lady, they made me wait until, I don't know how I can remember this, but it seems like they made me wait till the 22nd before I could file a claim. So I had like $700 just hung there and I don't know whatever happened. I don't know what happened, but it kind of turned me off. So I didn't order anything else again. Well, these shoes stayed on my mind. I think that they are fabulous. I have a thing for colored, like multicolored shoes. I love a wedge. I love something that slips on and I love the cork. So I'm gonna show you these in just a minute. And then these were kind of a whim, but I still had, there still was a method to my madness. These are the Schutz. And I would say Schutz shoes are worth the money. They're my favorite boots. I love the Ariella sandals, heels. The Ariella, I feel like are a little bit more of a dressier, sexier look than the Zara, but I love them and they are super comfortable, like so comfortable. So I saw these and the reason I liked them is a couple of different reasons. The nude tone is perfection just perfection. It is like the perfect tan nude. Another thing is there is a pair of Vince shoes that look like this that I kept wanting to order, but if you went to the nude, it had a wooden heel. I didn't want a wooden heel. I wanted them to be solid nude looking because to me, when you have a wooden heel, it skews it a little bit more casual. So I liked the fact that these were solid nude. Matter of fact, the Bottega the ones that I love so much, they make a wedge, but these were quite a bit less expensive. And these are a pretty high heel for a wedge. So I kind of just want to experiment with this look, see if I liked it. It's kind of like the preppy look, a little bit with sexy. And I want to see how I like this high of a heel on a wedge with no platform underneath the toe. Look at these Javianas. I, I think one of you actually sent me the link to these. These are the same slim Javiana flip-flops, but with a squared off toe. I've been wanting these from Nordstrom for a long time and they were always out of my size. So I got these, which is, I think for a size eight, you get the 37 which is an eight, because if you get the one up, it's a little bit too big for me. So I want to show you what these look like and all the other stuff. Okay, I've got on my simple strappy Zara bodysuit. I probably wouldn't wear this outfit just like this because to me, this is kind of like a shell outfit. I mean, I would if I got hot enough, but I put this on intentionally to layer over. These pants, are new and I'm gonna show you a couple other things, but I placed a small order with Express and I chose off of the icons. I knew I wanted a pair of the jeans that so many of you told me about that have like the kick end, kind of like the gap baby boot. So when I went to get those, I decided I would order a couple of the icons and these pants were on there. They are the columnists, which are some of their best pants and they have the little kick at the bottom. Now I ordered the medium because I just didn't know, but they're like way too big. They remind me of the Spanx pants that I like so much. So I'm gonna ask my mom if she wants these and I'm gonna reorder the small, but they're the perfect pant to layer with. So let me go ahead and show you something else I ordered off of their icons. I just got this and I haven't steamed it. But this is their, what shirt is this called? This is the Boyfriend Portofino. And I just loved this print. I think it is so classy and fresh looking, very Tommy Bahama. And I just loved it. I think it is so cool. It's a, a cool take on a white shirt. 
So I want to show you, we could roll the sleeves up we're just, for now, we're just gonna push these up. Okay, so instantly you are putting together a really cool outfit that can go anywhere. So let's put these nude shoes on and see how it really just elevates the look. I love these. I love any type of pant with an interesting bottom like that. Any kind of kick flare, kick pleat, or kick whatever <laughs> at the end really, really helps. Now, if you wanted to tuck this in, gosh, we could tie it. We could do so many different things. And I just think it's a really versatile look and a versatile pair of pants. I walked around in these a little bit yesterday. Now these definitely feel like high heels, which I love. You see how they automatically like straighten up your posture. I really do love them, but I don't know, you know, you're not gonna go power shopping in these. These are gonna be dinner shoes, out with friends, out for a date, you know, something where you're standing, you get to sit a little bit because they don't have a platform up underneath the toe. So that's what I would suggest with these. Oh, that is a really good outfit. I love it. And I've got my toes painted red and that just is classic. That goes with it too. Okay, I'm gonna drag out this Zara linen blazer again. I can't quit wearing it. I love it. So I wanna show you how this looks just with these pants thrown on. And then let's do the Kate Spade little shoes here. These are fabulous. And they're gonna look so good with all of your linen. Okay, not liking it, not liking it at all with these pants. They need one way or the other. They need a dressier shoe or a sneaker, which I have a sneaker coming up and we'll try it on with that. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and do the sneaker and then we'll try the jeans on with these shoes. Get ready to freak out. Are they not fabulous? Okay, if you got the black ones that we love so much, this is the exact same shoe, but in the coolest color gray. It is like elephant gray. It is just like the perfect gray with the zebra in. You can wear these shoes from eight years old to 80. This is a cool shoe for everyone. It's not a bulky shoe and we're gonna see how it looks with this outfit. Okay, oh, they're gonna be squeaky on my floor. Oh, I love them. Okay, and remember when I get these pants that fit better, they're gonna come up a little bit higher. I might even order the shorter size. I think I just got the regular. If they were even a little bit more cropped, it would be better. And I think that they contrast just enough Oh, I love them. These are just perfect. I had seen the white ones with the zebra in on them and I didn't, I don't know, I just felt like they were just eh. But when I saw this gray color, I just felt like it adds a little bit more to it and I feel like it's gonna look so good with so many different things. It would look really good with like army green. Okay, and then the next thing I got is because of you guys, I ordered them because so many of you told me that this is the kind of jean I was probably looking for when I saw that girl walking out of Lululemon. And I got the six regular skyscraper mid-rise. So let's put these on with this bodysuit and then let's put on those Kate Spade shoes. Okay, before we do that, I wanted to bring this to your attention. I think that one of the quickest, easiest ways you can have like such good style easy and I have a video coming up about things that you can instantly do to look stylish and I'm, I'm not talking about looking this rich classy sexy anything I'm talking about just looking stylish one of the quickest things you can do is of course a third layer and this is one of my favorites I've got this I don't even know probably five or six years ago from Oliver and they make this not every year but it's Ghani and they made, made it again, but I didn't like the new version, but I found this one on, I think it's Essence or one of those places that carries like overstock. So I wanted to show you how fabulous. It's got a silky lining. It's kind of like a summer weight type jacket and look at it with like tennis shoes and black pants. I mean, just 
the perfect, perfect travel outfit, the perfect shopping outfit. You are comfortable. You look uber stylish. Put your crossbody bag on with this and you are set. I have really, really realized the value of a good pair of sneakers that are not only comfortable, but have something different, like a little bit of edge, a little bit of funkiness, a little bit of a platform, a little bit of this or that, that add interest, no matter what your age and the value of a good base layer and then adding things on top. I think it's the most classic way to add some style. And I was just so excited when I saw that they still had this jacket because it's really, really nice leopard print. It's pretty light. It's definitely not a winter jacket. It's a transitional piece. It's almost like a linen type fabric. No wonder, 56% linen, 45 cotton. I'll make sure that the other one has the same materials. I was gonna say ingredients because this is such a good jacket. This is so good. This is gonna pack down small in your suitcase. I'm just really excited about this. Okay, so now let's do the jeans. Okay, so here they are. I love them. I love them. So I got the six regular. I would say the length is perfection. The fit is perfection to me. I think there's just a difference in how we like things to fit. I could definitely wear the four. I don't want to bulge out right here. I don't want to bulge right here. And I don't want to have to wait until they get stretched out for them to feel good to me. They actually feel very similar to the Zara Marine jeans where they kind of are hugging you. You know, they're not tight, but they are giving you like a gentle hug. I think that they're good on the booty. And I think they look amazing with the shoes. Let me get where I can see in my mirror real quick. Oh, I love, see how the bottom just kind of kicks over your shoes? That is the beauty of pants like this. I love it. So even with your sneakers, your boots, anything, your flip flops, just having that little bit of interest at the end of your foot, it's another instant style. Just having that. I love them. Let's just put this poplin on. Yeah, love it. And I mean, of course this shirt comes in the, you know, I think everybody's familiar. I think this shirt has been around for, I don't know, I don't know how many years, ever since I've been going to Express, a Portofino. This is the boyfriend one. Love it, and I love it with the shoes. Okay, let's do the flip flops and the black linen blazer. This would be something I would be more likely to wear. Oh, I love it. Okay, and see how the ends are just kind of doing crazy stuff? That's fine. That's part of the look is you want the ends, you don't want to look like you care, you know? And you could even cut that off. I might do that. I don't know because I, I might would rather wear them with heels. Okay, the beauty of these jeans is look at how tight they are all the way down to that. These are also gonna look good with your sneakers, everything. Okay, what would a Friday be without some sunglasses? I actually have some more sunglasses coming up. That was one of the reasons I placed the cause order. One of you mentioned it to me the other day. One time I saw, I think Michelle Wong, she did it. And then one of you sent me a pair of sunglasses from there. So by the time I thought about it that many times, I placed an order. This is a sad little case here because it's the same ones that I showed you last week that just don't fit me. I've already given those two pair away. And when I put these on, I thought, I mean, I love them so much. I might suck it up and just wear these at the pool or somewhere where I don't care if my makeup gets messed up because I just love them. I love the color. I love the whole vibe. I love just how they look in my hair. I just love them. When I show you these Amazon sunglasses, I always tell you that they're cheap and they're cheap. I mean, they're like plastic. It even has like a little detail on the end, but I absolutely love this color. Okay, this, I didn't even remember ordering these. I must've been on a cheap sunglass tangent that day. These are very different. They describe them as cat eye. I wouldn't describe them as cat eye. I would describe these as like blade. But what I like about these is the nose piece. And I do think that they're still cool. I'm sure that everything I show you comes in other colors. You already know how much I love sunglasses. 
sunglasses. And as you can tell, I like ones that are different. Again, something you can instantly put on to give you style. I mean, those are cool. I love them and they fit wow they really fit good then when I saw these come in I thought oh my gosh it's gonna be another pair of those that don't fit me because sometimes I'll order those three packs they're already cheap and then it's like really cheap it ends up being like six dollars a pair but I opened these and oh my gosh it's the best surprise what I love about these for one thing boy they fit so perfectly. I wore them yesterday and see how it has like that extra little detail right up there. That is a very Tom Ford or Gucci type look. And I love the gradient. I love them oversized, another winner. So it's worth it, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's what I'm here for. I get to go through the duds. It's a win-win because then I can give them to somebody that it works for and then I can find the good ones like these that are so fabulous and very, very inexpensive. Now, I know a lot of you are never gonna buy a pair of sunglasses at Amazon. You like, you know, the really nice quality ones, but then I know a lot of people are never going to buy the expensive ones. So we can find them all. I love that, look at the side. These are super fabulous, I love them. Okay, another thing I ordered from Amazon is this. I've had one of these before and I think I lost it in the move or maybe it fell prey to my getting rid of everything I had just about when I moved here. This I don't use to actually curl my eyelashes, but this is one of the best ways to get in on your false lashes and push them down. You know, I'll probably have to do a video to show you because you can actually use these, put on false lashes and not even put liner on. But one thing I do want to say, once you do this, don't try to remove those lashes that night because you will rip your eyelashes out because they're gonna be so married together. What you'll need to do is use like a cleansing balm, like the Elemis or one of those, and that's what I do. I just start getting in there and then they'll break apart. Sometimes they're in the sink or on the floor and then I get in the shower and wash my face. But these are very, very handy. I actually bought this pair and I bought a Revlon that I have in my bathroom because I wanted to have one upstairs and one down. This was a nice gift I got out of the blue for my friend Kristen. She is the one that sells the Saint makeup and she sent me this lip and it is fabulous. I've done some videos that haven't posted yet and I think I wore this one in my style video, but this is the prettiest peachy tone. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. This is what I do sometimes. It is just gorgeous. She said it reminded her of the Melon YSL lipstick that I love so much. So I'm gonna list her link for her business down below and this exact, what is it called? It's called Maui, this exact lip color. And then in PR this week, I got a new product from City Beauty, their Plumping Concentrate Instantly Firming Ultra Fill Marionette Line Treatment. Fill and smooth. Smooths and fills the look of marionette and nasal labial expression lines. Well, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? So I haven't tried this yet, but I will. They say use it in the last step of your skincare routine. And then Paula's Choice sent me this, and it is the Resist Triple Action Active Total Repair Serum. Clinically proven to visibly improve lines, firmness, and discoloration in one week. So it has a retinoid, niacinamide, and <laughs> I don't even know that last word. But the reason and I show you this is I do think Paula's Choice is a really good quality skincare line, especially for the price. And I'm thankful to be on their PR list so that I can show you guys. I know that their exfoliating toner, I went through bottle after bottle with it. So I do think that that is a good thing. It says apply to face and neck twice after cleansing, toning, and exfoliating. So maybe I'll use it on my neck. But guys, let me tell you what happened to me lately. I ran out of my typical Retin-A, which is the Altrino. It's very similar to Rafisa, like I used to use, and it's very emollient. And so I called the doctor to see if she could refill it, and I have not heard anything back. So I don't know if I have to go in or again for that. So I was like, that's okay. I'll just use my Obagi, the point 
0.05%. Started using it. If you're familiar with Obaji, you, you know, you mix it in with your blender. And I was like, you know, two or three days later, oh, you know, this is great. I don't even need that other stuff. And then all of a sudden, when was it? It was when I did, I think the H&M video or something, I noticed that my face looked really red. It burnt me up. I am still itching. I mean, it burnt all the way down my neck, all over my face. And I guess it just took, you know, probably five or six times until it built up enough to burn me. I mean, it burnt me like a sunburn. So luckily, Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Rattan has covered it, but I'm still kind of recovering from that. I haven't used Retin-A in the last, I would say three to four nights, and I'm actually having to use the Obagi Moisturizer, the Hydrate, and I never use that part of the system but it's really been soothing at night. So that's what happens when you guys see that my neck is red and that my face is somewhat red. It's usually from my Retin-A, like I've used too much or something different. But anyway, all that to say, I do think Paula's Choice is a good line. And I think that is it, you guys. My nail polish is the one I got from Zara a while ago my Dean Davidson castle ring, and my earrings are some of my all-time favorites. They are the large knockout studs. Then I've got on my Bull of a watch. I have enjoyed this watch. My mom got one too. And my Jenny Bird bangles that have not taken off in, what would we say, about six weeks now, and they still look this good. So thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you this weekend with a fabulous Zara try-on haul and then I'll have some more coming up soon. I have a gap, all kinds of stuff. I know that everyone out there has different tastes and we're all different ages, different styles. And I've always told you that I wanted to be your personal shopper. And so that's what I'm doing. And you're actually helping me out too because I've always ordered a lot and a lot of stuff you guys never saw. And I was never good about maybe like really trying it on and styling it. So a lot of things I would keep and then I didn't end up liking them. This way I can really tell what I like. I'm better about sending things back and I think it's given us more variety. And I really am not intrigued, but so enthused and inspired by being able to style these different type things. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I want the videos to be fun and inspiring and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.